molten. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Cross between a tw uh. <laughs> The best yeah, creaming that's... casserole I've ever made. There's no. To add it, go ahead and add some to more. Now I can't talk. This is the way forward. <laughs> Let me set the scene for you. I'm driving down a country road to get to my P.O. box. I get to my P.O. box and I have a gift there. And that gift is this cookbook. One of my subscribers named Mary Jane is a contributor to this cookbook and it's through her church and she thought I might enjoy it and she was right. Church cookbooks have been a thing for a very long time and this particular one is through their GEMS ministry. G-E-M-S stands for God's Effective Mature Saints. I love that. Today, I'm gonna to be making four different recipes from here and sharing those with you. So let's do it. Hey y'all, I'm Mandy, and this is Mandy in the Making. This particular crock pot recipe is something so different than anything I have ever heard. And it happens to be from Mary Jane, the lady who sent me this cookbook. This is her recipe that she contributed into the cookbook. She encouraged me in her letter that she sent along with this to give the green bean chili a try. Let's do it. Okay, I am chopping up half an onion. I will tell you I'm adding a couple of ingredients just because of our preferences. We love onion. And then we're also gonna add a jalapeno. I got this from our garden. Woo! Okay, I need a moment. Can you, can you see the tears? I need a moment, I'll be back. Sorry about that, I had, I had to take a moment. But I chopped up my jalapeno. I did take most of the seeds out. So we've got this ready. Let me go gra grab the ground beef and we're gonna go over to the stove. Okay, I've got one pound of lean ground beef cooking here in the skillet. I'm gonna add our onion and our jalapeno to that. And this is totally optional, like I said. She just said to cook the ground beef. Hello, princess. Did you wake up from your nap? She's like, look, I know you got the camera and you're in here cooking. Something needs to happen. AKA, cheese please. Yeah. I, I love you. Okay. I'm gonna keep cooking. I, I'll, I'll catch you in a little bit. So her recipe calls for 38 ounce cans, two of them, of green beans. I have these that are 28 ounces. So we're missing about 20 ounces. So I just grabbed another can of green beans. I'm gonna open these. It does not say to drain them, but I'm assuming that we drain these. So that's what I'm gonna do. Our ground beef is done cooking. So let's add that in. I'm probably gonna fog y'all up. So I apologize in advance. Oh yeah, there it went. <laughs> y'all good. So let's add in the green beans. This is so different than anything I have ever made. Then we're gonna add in this pack of chili mix as well as some diced tomatoes. I'm gonna do one regular can of diced tomatoes and one can of fire roasted. You know what, I'm glad I chose my bigger crock pot. I was like, oh, it's just green beans and ground beef. I probably just can use the smaller one. No, this is filling it up. So, good call, Mandy, good call. I'm gonna grab my boat oar, AKA my spurtle, and we are going to toss this around. This is gonna cook on high for two to four hours. It is almost three o'clock now. So I'll just cook it on high until we're ready to eat. Sound good? Sounds good. Gracie, Gracie. I don't, I, I don't know what to do with her. Okay, let's see, it's three o'clock. Uh, that should be good. Ma'am. Okay, as I flipped through the cookbook, one of the first things that caught my eye was in the appetizers and beverages section and it is called cozy coffee. I'm not gonna make the full amount because it, it calls for a lot, but basically you mix all the ingredients together and then you can store it in an airtight container and just add a few tablespoons to hot water. It's almost like a mocha. We're gonna try it. Our first ingredient is the only ingredient I had to go purchase, which is the coffee creamer, the powdered coffee creamer. I need one cup of that. Maybe I should have gotten a bigger just pretend I just didn't do this y'all didn't just see this moving on now we need hot cocoa mix we're gonna use about three-fourths a cup we need the same amount of instant coffee and you may wonder why do I have instant coffee on hand well at Christmas time I made some of my shuffle truffle which is our favorite dessert ever 
and you use a little bit, a tiny little bit of instant coffee. That's another reason why I chose this recipe because I need to use more of this. And this is halving it. This, this would make a large amount. We need three quarters of a cup of sugar and then about half a teaspoon of cinnamon. That may be closer to a teaspoon. It's gonna be okay. You know, I could put the lid on this and just shake it up. We're gonna test this out because I want another cup of coffee. It's three o'clock. My rule is I don't really have coffee after three. So why am I doing it like that? Cause I'm special. So let me get some hot water and we're gonna try this. I've got my water in the microwave heating up. It's made a good amount. I don't even think I have an empty mason jar. Okay, I've got it in a different container. It says to take about four heaping tablespoons of the mixture to eight ounces of water. It says boiling water. This is not quite boiling. How many did I just do? If that's too much, it's too much. I, I don't know, hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully that was right. I put it in a clear mug so you could see it. All right, let's try it. It smells really good. Take two. It's like a mocha. Coffee, chocolate, tiny bit of cinnamon. It's not overly sweet. I'm impressed. This is probably gonna be my afternoon treat. Wow. Like today, obviously, but I mean, days on end because I have a good portion of it. Color me shocked. Cheers, friends. Tink. I didn't know if Steven would like it because he and I have very different coffee tastes. Wow. But I First of all, it's not something I would order. No. Like I would For never For sure, you would never this. order that. No, I know. But I took it into his office and he took a sip and his eyes got so big it's really good. It's so good. I might fight you over that one. Look, there's plenty of mix right there. All right. Oh, okay. Oh. You've definitely uh, converted house blend instant coffee into something drinkable. Mm-hmm. <laughs> More than Amen. drinkable. It's really good. Amen to that. Yeah, yeah that's really, really good. good. And I took it in there, and, and then he took a sip, and after his eyes got really big, he said, Is this mine? <laughs> I said, No, it's mine. Fighting words. <laughs> I'm impressed that you like that. I'm impressed. It's really good. It's All right. my mind. <laughs> We are coming up on a very popular football Sunday, and I thought this would be a great dip for that day. This is called a Mexican bean dip. It is really simple. You do have to bake it, but assembling it is just putting the ingredients in the casserole dish and then just throwing it in the oven. There's nothing we have to do other than just emptying some ingredients in. So winner, winner, easy dinner, easy dip. I dip, you dip, we dip. Whatever. And I need to grease, I'm guessing, it doesn't tell me what size, I'm guessing this should fit about an eight by eight. I need to grease my baking dish, but I also, I was gonna say I need to soften my cream cheese, but it's been sitting out a minute and I don't think I need to soften it. I was gonna throw it in the microwave, but I think we're good. We need to take this eight ounce block of cream cheese and open it, apparently I can't do that. There we go. We are gonna spread it all along the bottom of the casserole dish. It's gonna be our bottom layer. Okay, when I, when I dropped it, it flipped over to the side that had some spray on it. I should have just sprayed this, but that's okay. So let's press this out. I am gonna spray this because it's starting to stick again. That's better. Next, we are gonna add in a can of chili with the beans. I chose the one that's hot because, you know, we like things hot. You don't have to do that. We're gonna layer that on top. Next, you need eight to 12 ounces of salsa. And then we need eight ounces of Mexican blend cheese, which is this whole bag. So much yes. This is gonna bake at 350 for 20 to 25 minutes until it's bubbly at the center. At the center. Oh, to the center. <laughs> I can read. And then we're gonna serve it with Tostito scoops. Man, that looks good. Right. My goodness. It's a river of cheese. <laughs> river runs, oh, run <laughs> yeah. through it. Uh-huh. Man, it's smelling good too. It does smell good. It's that, very hot. Is that crema cheese in there? Uh-huh. 
Yeah, cream and cheese. You like it in dips, don't lie. I do. All right, okay. here we go. Tink. Mm. Oh, that's wow, good. Wow, that is good. Oh, that's real good. <laughs> that is good. A little bit of spice. Definitely got a chili kind of flavor to it. I used Hormel chili with beans, the spicy kind. Okay. Definitely got that chili bean sort of flavor to it. And then the salsa is interesting. Mm -hmm. Like, you definitely get some of those pepper flavors mm -hmm. in there because of the salsa. There's like mm -hmm. chunks of the peppers in there. That's an easy one yeah. to make. And it'll be a crowd pleaser for sure. Oh, yeah. So, for that yeah. big football game coming up. All right, you go back to work. I'm going to stand here and eat this. Love you, mean it. Bye. We've got one more. One more recipe to go. And if I would have thought it through a little bit more, I probably wouldn't have chosen this recipe. I was just so excited to see this recipe. But it has green beans in it too. So we're gonna bookend <laughs> this video with green beans at the beginning and green beans at the end. If you know me at all, you know I love green bean casserole. It is one of my favorite foods, if not my most favorite food of all time. This green bean casserole has a cream of mushroom component but you're not using a can of cream of mushroom soup. You're pretty much doing it on your own. Let's do this. Okay, let's preheat our oven to 350. Let's preheat our large skillet to about medium high. And we're gonna allow this stick, yes, whole stick of butter to melt. Okay, the recipe calls for finely diced or finely chopped mushrooms. So I have a carton. I did get the pre-sliced, but I do need to run my knife through it, so I'm gonna do that. Our butter is completely melted, so let's add in our mushrooms. And we're gonna saute these in the butter for about five minutes. It already smells good. I'm already a fan of this recipe. Something I forgot to show y'all in the beginning was mozzarella cheese. That's new to me as well. However, I have a cheese monster. Yeah, yeah you. All right, there you go. It has been five minutes. I've got a quarter cup of all-purpose flour. We're gonna sprinkle this in here and cook it for about a minute. Gosh, this smells so good. I love mushrooms. Let me know below. Are you team mushroom or no? I know a lot of people have a, an aversion to them and I get it, but man, I love them. It doesn't call for it, but we're going. We're going in just a little bit. I wanted a little bit of that garlic flavor in there too, so. I've got a cup and a half of milk going in. I've got one cup of sour cream going in. And then we also have a cup of mozzarella cheese going in. Never added cheese to a green bean casserole, I don't think. This is new to me. I ain't hating it. So let's stir this together and we're gonna let it come up to a bubble. Oh my stars. Oh, it's already bubbling. Okay, moving on. I'm gonna turn the heat down a little bit. Now to this, we're gonna add our French style or French cut green beans. I did drain them. We've got two cans going in. We'll stir that all together. It's making all kinds of noises. Now it says to put this in a nine by 13. I don't, I mean, I guess it'll be fine. I was gonna say, I don't feel like it'll fill the whole thing, but maybe it will. Just not very deep which is fine. Oh my goodness. Oh, we also need to salt and pepper it, so let's do that. Okay, I'm gonna turn my stove off, okay? And let me grab my baking dish. We are gonna transfer this over. All right, it definitely fills up the nine by 13. I did not think it would. It smells so good. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. Let me grab my French fried onions. I normally don't put mine on until the end, but this says to go ahead and put them on, so. And I'm gonna spread them out. Steven, look at that. Ooh, that looks good. You have no idea. It smells delicious in there. You have no idea. I've got the, I don't I have no idea. No, oh my gosh. When we go eat that? In about 45 minutes. Oh, 45 minutes, <laughs> way too long. <laughs> All right, this is going in the oven at 350 for 45 minutes. It is moment of truth time. It is time for green bean chili. Okay, there's definitely more liquid in there than I anticipated, so that's good. I was thinking I was gonna need to add some tomato sauce, and you definitely could, oh, there we go. Sorry. You definitely could, I think, if you want it to be a, a tad bit soupier, 
but it smells great. Now she said you can top it with sour cream, all the same things that you would normally top it with if it was just a regular chili. It's just me and Steven here this evening, so we'll be the only two trying it. That is amazing. I am so happy right now. Nice and spicy, the green beans, all of the chili seasonings and everything, and the meat flavor. Into it, yeah. Yes. I hate to say that it's like a chili. It's like a cross between a it's a cross between a chili and a soup. Okay. So like a chili veggie soup type thing. Right, you know? right. So I was really close to add it, going ahead and adding to some to more, now I can't talk, some more tomato, like sauce, you know? Yeah. Um, but do you think it needed it? I don't think so. Okay. No, I don't think so. Well, Mary Jane, you had yeah. a great recipe and you told us to try it. Mm. So I'm gonna dig in. I cannot wait to taste this. I'm so excited that he loves it so much. It is quite pleasant. <laughs> you can't have it. I'm so sorry. I've already given you cheese. Okay? Yeah. This is good. Mm. It is like a, this is what I said, a chili-fied vegetable soup. But Steven said, but without the soup. Yeah. Right, it's not soupy, mm -mm. but you get that vegetable soup flavor but chili fied <laughs> chili fied it's a word look at us this is some good green beans i'm telling you what this is a really really neat way of making green beans it has the protein and the veggie mixed in right. i mean it's really good all right y'all chili fried green beans that's what we're gonna call it it's green bean chili but you know mary jane thank you so much he's working on bowl number two which means it's a go-backer. It's a go-backer. It's one of those meals, you know, that you can definitely go back on because it's delicious, number one. And number two, it's not too heavy. No, it's know? not. It's great. So, yeah. All so right. enjoy, enjoy another bowl. That's right. Go-backer. We need more green beans in our life. <laughs> yeah, we do. This is so hot, so don't burn yourself. Yeah, we won't have to. We're going to have to blow this one off. This is wild. Look at this. <laughs> I know. Molten. Oh. <laughs> you said molten, and right as soon as you said molten, it dropped off of my fork and onto your thumb. Lava. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's all right. I did not mean to. We need to blow that off. <laughs> <laughs> that is way too hot to eat right now. Okay. I'm scared. <laughs> oh, we didn't tink. <laughs> you just dropped some on the floor. This is a hot mess. Literally a hot mess. Look at that. Put that over there. Tink. That's a very different. Oh my gosh. Hands down. Yeah. The best yeah, creaming casserole I've ever made. There's no. This is the way forward. <laughs> it's rich and creamy. Yes. It's not overly salty. Right. One thing about the cans though is that the cans seem to be like a little bit more saucy, you know, like saucy and... Maybe, know. but this wow. This doesn't have a lot of sauce to it. Well... You know what I'm saying? This this is actually... It kind of does, actually. It kind of does. You know it's just thicker. It? It's not as runny. It's a thicker, creamier yeah, it's consistency. A thicker, creamier, yeah. 10 out of 10, 11 out of 10. That's really good. That was very... Ah, gotta <sighs> breathe. Everything is important. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm exiting the building. <laughs> Today has been a successful day. Four excellent recipes from this book. I am so pleased. Let me know below, have you ever had a church cookbook in your possession? And have you found great recipes from it? If you're still here, I really appreciate you watching to the end. If you'll give me a thumbs up before you head out. And if you are not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button before you leave. Thanks y'all, and I'll see you next time. Bye.